Hey guys, Moto13 here. I'm at the bike shop. <laughs> uh, a lot of get questions. I get a lot of questions about uh, helmets and gear and whatnot. And uh, so here we have some Arai. Thirteen thousand five hundred. That's not American dollars. That's Taiwan dollars. So that you roughly divide it by three and then drop three digits. So I don't know. Drop one digit. I don't know. Divide it by thirty. So three, six, nine, twelve. It's about four hundred and twenty, thirty dollars, something like that. Four hundred and something. And uh, yeah, so it's four hundred bucks, over four hundred dollars for an Arai helmet. And then try to keep my reflection out of this film. Here we got the sharks. I personally like the sharks. That's that's either my helmet or or different model with the same design. No, that, that's pretty sure that's mine. That's my helmet there. American. There's a Dionese helmet, which is kind of cool. Because generally they don't make helmets. Um, so which helmet is the best to buy? Well, to be honest, it's whatever you think is cool. Um, because they've done tests, uh, intensive tests, and um, the general result is that the super expensive helmets are equally as safe as the super cheap helmets. So you can get a helmet for 50 bucks if you go to like, uh, I, you know, I think I bought my first motorcycle helmet at um, Canadian Tire, which is like an auto parts store. They mainly sell tires and tools and stuff. It's, it was totally not a motorcycle store. It was just a big automotive store and they had, a, they had some helmets that you could use for whatever. And I bought one there for like 50 bucks American. And according to the magazine, magazines I've read and the tests and studies that have been done, that $50 helmet would hold up just as well in a crash as these five, four or $500 helmets. So, so when it comes to buying a helmet, it's just get whatever you think looks cool, man. Here we have some cheap helmets. And like this one looks cool if you ask me. It's got dragon and white and red. It's a sole helmet. No, not really sure what brand that is. What's the price on this? Um, Three thousand four hundred. So, like, uh, divide by three is a hundred dollars and hundred and hundred and ten bucks. Hundred and ten dollars. And it looks just as cool as. Oh, and here's a flip place one. Nice. We got unicorns on. Not quite as cool. Um. Soul GP5. The helmets here, like, you can go to a cheap Taiwan shop and get hel and get full face helmets for like less than thirty dollars. You can get them for like twenty bucks. But you wouldn't be able to get that in America. Taiwan has a lot of helmets because there's a lot of scooters so you can get really cheap helmets here. This helmet looks really cool. I love the design on it. Check this out. And so after a helmet, what's next? I'd say the next important thing is probably gloves. And let's look at, take a look at some prices here. <laughs> this is always insane, right? The price on gloves, a pair of gloves could easily be as expensive as like a full leather jacket. You know, not a full suit, but like the jacket. You know, like, that's insane. How can you wear a leather jacket that costs the same amount as a Frickin' pair of gloves, you know, there's barely any material in a pair of gloves. <sighs> so let's see the prices. 150 bucks roughly. Um, 200 dollars for this pair of gloves. And Extreme gloves by M Tech. Yeah. <laughs> this pair of gloves is like it's like nothing. It's like feels like just cheap, but it's made by Dionese, which is a really well good brand, and it costs over a hundred dollars. A hundred and thirty, hundred and thirty-six. Yeah, almost a hundred thirty dollars, hundred twenty-eight or something. Um, I like this pair of gloves. It's got all like metal here and stuff. It looks cool. And I'm guessing this one costs a shitload, and I'm right. Ten thousand two hundred, which means it's about over three hundred dollars. Three hundred and thirty bucks. Three hundred and thirty dollars for this pair of gloves. Um, you guys want to see the gloves that I have? They might be here. I was. <laughs> um, I don't know if they're any better now, but don't buy yellow corn. I bought yellow corn once before like this, and every time it rained, or even if I sweat, the color would come out. So every time I wore the gloves, my hands would be stained red. 
and you're thinking, oh, well, why don't you just wash them and get the color out? No, no. <laughs> they stained my hands red every time I wore them for two years. And I put them in like in a bathtub filled with water and let them sit for like a fucking week. And all they did was the whole bathtub turned red and they still would dye my hands red. Yellow corn, beware. Deeper ones. Uh, yeah. Anyways, they're not here. I, I get gloves that cost about a hundred bucks and forget who makes them. And then, uh, so after you get a helmet and after you get gloves, then what's next? Next would be the jacket. This is pretty much the jacket I have. It's the newer model. Mine is all black. This one is, it's, uh, see? It's all, the jacket's all ventilated in the front. So you get good airflow. Oops. And the back here, this part here, and this part here is all ventilated, so the air just kind of blows through it. And it's hot here, so that's what's needed. And I'm dropping things. <laughs> so, hello, baby's got back. Um, I'm only distracted here. Gonna get in trouble with the wife. Okay, so I'll just put this back here. There, fine. So that's, oh yeah, here's the price for it. Eight thousand three six nine two hundred and seventy dollars roughly for this jacket, for the Dainese Airflow jacket. Um, it's not as, you know, if you're, if you're riding around all weather ability. If you're riding around in the city, then that's good enough for you. But uh, if you're doing racing or on the track, you're gonna need something a bit more. This is cool. This is cool. Uh, in Taiwan, we got a good, good amount of air pollution, so I stay away from anything that has white on it because it turns to gray in a matter of minutes when you're riding. Um, I'd probably stay away from all black too because it's it's a little bit boring. <laughs> now I'm giving like fashion tips. This is this is not about safety. This is just this is like those five guys that come to your house and tell you what to wear. Um, yeah, something like that. I, I don't know. This is kind of cool. It's got the red dinies symbol. I like this, but I don't like the white. I don't like this. SPK is like uh, it's a Taiwan brand and. In general, their stuff is really affordable. That's the polite way to say. It. And yeah, and this stuff, this is like thirty thousand, so it's a thousand dollars for a full suit. That's fifty thousand NT, so that's. Oops, did I get myself a video? Yeah, I did. I have to edit that out. That's fifty thousand NT, so that's um. One thousand. Uh. One thousand. Seven hundred, something like that. Yeah, about that, $1,700 for this. But that's the one-piece racing suit, and I wouldn't even recommend these one-piece racing, because they're so difficult to climb in and out of. If you, unless you're, a, you're, you're, you're seriously doing track racing, I wouldn't recommend them, because they're a hassle. You know, and when you stop and you want to take your jacket off to cool off, you can't, because it's attached to your jacket is attached to your pants. So you have to let it, like take it off and let it hang while you're walking along, and it looks kind of silly. Here you go. This one is two-piece. See? This connects to this. So you can, when you get somewhere, you can just unzip the pants and take them off and then put on a pair of shorts or, <laughs> or whatever. You, it, it, at the very least, you can take the jacket off and like hang it on your bike or, you know, stick it in your buddy's back of your buddy's car or something, you know. You can at least. This one's nice. Though. So, helmet, then gloves, then a jacket. Then you have to go for footwear, I guess. I just got a new pair of boots. Uh, normally, if you see my pictures, I'm wearing red ones. These are all black. These are second hand, and they're uh, <laughs> about a size and a half too big for me. <laughs> but they work fine, so. <laughs> I walked, I've actually walked a lot in them, and my feet are fine, and uh, I ride with them, and they don't catch anything. I don't really notice. They're too big for me, but I don't notice it, so who cares? And then here's the prices on shoes. 300, over 300 bucks, rough, under 300, 400 and something dollars American, 300 dollars American, oof, um, 500 dollars American, Doc, that's a, Doc would be Valentino Rossi, this 
that's uh, those shoes. And then, yeah, that's it. Oh yeah, and then, so you go, where are we, where are we? Helmet, then gloves, then jacket, then shoes, and then last would be pants. Not everybody, you know, like, I like stuff like this too. If you live somewhere really hot, you can just get something like this. Just, you, just wear like a, you wear like a t-shirt and then just throw this on top and boom, you're, that's good. C costs just the same as the jacket though. That's um, uh, three, six, nine, twelve, four hundred and forty dollars. This, American. Um, yeah, so once you've gotten all that, st but for, you know, realistically, if, and I'd say you, you don't really need pants. What you do need would be body armor. You can get some, uh, like, kind of like skateboarders use or something, this some kind of shell, some body protection that you can put under the knee, and just, you just slide up in here and keep under, and you can just wear jeans, but you got some kind of protection on the inside, and if you go for, I don't know, once you get more serious about the sport, then you can look into some kind of uh, pants, something something like this. I, I got some uh, textile ones that are pretty uh, easy to take on and off, and they don't look too, I don't know, they're not too heavy, they're not too hot, they actually are, they're like summer pants, they, they're ventilated as well. Uh, I really think uh, if you live somewhere hot, you need you need uh, ventilation because if, if you're too hot, you're gonna you're you're, you're not gonna be thinking clearly. You know, some people like they live in Texas and they wear like I only wear my full body armor protection and blah 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 blah. Yeah, but if you're riding around in Texas with full with full body armor on, chances are you're sweating like a a, buck, a bucket a minute and you're probably gonna get like faint and shit. You know, maybe they just ride from one Seven Eleven to the next, then go in and cool off for ten minutes. I don't know. Anyways, this video is too long. That's a uh, biker gear video. Get a lot of questions about. Oh, fat pregnant woman coming by. Wait a sec. Hmm? Doing video. Mm -hmm. There you go. Thank you.